Okay, this sermon is entitled, If Jesus Didn't Die for Everyone, Then No One Can Be Saved. I'd like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses. All right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 88 reads, O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear unto my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. Now this false demonic teaching called Calvinism basically postulates that Jesus Christ only died for certain people. He only died for the select few. They call this the elect. And within this teaching, one would have to make believe that they're saved based on their works. They would have to look to themselves introspectively to try to differentiate themselves from the rest of the world, the rest of the non-elect world, and it's all a bunch of garbage. And the truth is, is that if Jesus Christ did not die for every single person, then it's impossible to put your confidence in him. Because he might not have died for you, he might not have died for a majority of so-called you know, believers. And if you can't put confidence in Christ, you can't be saved. Because that's what it means to put your faith in Christ, is you're relying on him 100%. All you can do at this point, these stupid unsaved Calvinists, is cross your fingers and just hope you're one of the elect. And it doesn't work because, number one, the Apostle Paul made it very clear that Jesus Christ died for everyone. And that's the only way you can actually put your faith or trust in him is if he died for everyone exclusively, okay, leaving nobody out. It reads in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, let's start off at verse 13, and it reads, For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God, or whether we be sober, it is for your cause, for the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead, and he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Now what does it mean to judge? The word judge means that you're coming to a conclusion uh, about something. Okay, And the, it says right here that we have judged that Jesus Christ died for all. In other words, they've had that figured out before they could even believe on him. Okay, If you think he didn't die for all, then you've judged wrongly and you actually can't trust him at all. Because what is your assurance based on? You know, something capricious, something whimsical. The fact that he might have died for you, but that's not good news. Okay, you can't tell ten people that Jesus died for them if he only died for eight of them. Two of those people can't receive the good news. And if they can't receive it, it's not the good news. It's not the gospel. Romans chapter 1 and verse 16 reads, let's go ahead and turn there. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. To the Jew first and also to the Greek. If Calvinism were true, it would have to read, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that's the elect. To everyone of the elect that believe. No, this says everyone that believes, okay, leaving nobody out. So the true gospel is that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and rose again. He did this for every single person. And salvation is offered to everyone equally. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Calvinism has a false God, a false Christ, false salvation, and no assurance. And if Jesus Christ did not die for everyone, then absolutely no one could be saved. Because you can't put your confidence in somebody who lies. And that's all they have is, a, is nothing but a lie. I mean, think about it. If I said I'm coming over to your house tomorrow with the pizza, but then I say it, but I might not come, could you take my word seriously? If I say there's a, there's a chance I might not come? No. That's the same way with salvation. If Jesus Christ did not die for every single person, you have no idea if he died for you, and therefore you can't believe in him. So that's why Calvinists have no salvation, and that's why they're on their way to hell right now. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.